Hello everyone and thanks for clicking in. My name is Ronald and today I'll show you how to create a finger sandwich platter for an afternoon tea or any royal celebration. This platter really takes the cake. Let's get started. The star or the bread and butter of this platter is just that, but bread and butter. I like a little butter. It's good for a little saltiness in your sandwiches. I'm using tramezzini bread here. It's crustless bread. Or you can even use regular sandwich bread. Just cut the crusts off. For finger sandwiches, also known as tea sandwiches, um, because people often have them for afternoon tea, you can use any number of fillings. It's just your preference. Today I'll be using eight different fillings and this finger sandwich cake will have four layers. You can use any range of fillings for your sandwiches. It's best to pick fillings that are flavorful, crowd pleasing and not too moist or thick. Too moist or thick, particularly in a cake like I'm about to build, can be squeezed out the edges and make a real mess. You don't want that. Always try to avoid the risk of egg salad or tuna squirting out onto your friend's fancy clothes. It'll be funny, but probably not appreciated. With fillings done, we now start building the layers. There'll be four layers, or four sandwiches on each side. If you shuffle your filled sandwiches, then every layer in your final product is going to be a surprise. I use a plate to get the circle shape, then with a good serrated knife, take your time and cut off the corners. Obviously, these cut sandwiches can be used on another platter. They make nice little triangle sandwiches, these corners, but you could just start eating right away. What's wrong with that? Go ahead. Nobody will ever know. But if you're on a keto diet, then put that sandwich down as not your friend. Once you've cut your corners and you know what you're doing with them, then it's time to start getting a little bit more detailed with the cake shape. Just trim off all those little bits. You'll soon take away all the hard edges and have a circle. A nice cake shape that you'll be proud of. And all those baby finger sandwiches that you're cutting away there are obviously also great snack foods. And they're tiny, so obviously diet friendly. Once you've got your circle shape, then start cutting like pizza. Cut through, take your time so you're not pushing the layers about. And once you've got it in quarters, this is the time to move it to your cake board. If you try to move it after you've cut smaller wedges, they'll be falling all over the place and you'll need an extra pair of hands and you'll be mad at yourself. If you have a sandwich with a little dent in it, just oh, no! cover it with another one or move it to another spot where it's not so obvious. Turn it upside down, perhaps. Take your time and just continue cutting. If your knife isn't long enough, then maybe turn it round and so you get a straight cut to the bottom rather than an angled cut, which is just going to push out your, your fillings. Your sandwich fillings, that is, not your tooth fillings. And with your cake shape complete, you can move it to your little cake tray if you have one. Mine is a genius multifunction one that you can get on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. So we just need to do a little bit of decorating on this cake. And here I'm using just simple little cookie cutters and cutting out cheese. Um, just little slices of cheese. Obviously the little leftovers become grilled cheese. I'll take some salami and slice up some olives and make some flowers and here you go, a pretty respectable looking finger sandwich cake. That'll make your friends happy. Yeah! Put it under a nice dome to be fancy. Nice! When you take a little wedge out, you'll see all the different layers. Spread the sandwiches about. I've found with these finger sandwich cakes that sometimes you need to actually pull some sandwiches off of it because people never like to be the first one to dig in. So if you need to be the first to crack it open, go ahead because let's face it, that's the reason you made this is so people would enjoy it and eat it and hopefully they may also click your subscribe button and ring the little bell and click the thumbs up to give it a like. 
hope you did like this video today. Thanks so much for clicking in and until next time, enjoy those finger sandwiches.